A really interesting thing is going on in the single family home market in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And this trend has been going on for almost a year now. 11 months to be exact. Hi, I'm Charlie Dresden. And I'm Travis Crook. And we're here to share some important real estate information on the Steamboat Springs real estate market. So a few months ago, I made a video market update about my predictions for 2022. And so far, it's proven to be about accurate. Now, as real estate advisors, we look for trends in the market so that we can better advise our clients. Now, as of March 2022, we're seeing the month after month increase in median sales price decreasing or leveling off. Yeah, this is not to be confused with prices dropping, just gains that we've been seeing over the past two years are starting to level off. And those gains are noticeably going down. This graph shows year-to-date median sales price changes of single-family homes in the blue and townhome condos in the orange. The y-axis are percentages of price increases and the x-axis are gates. As an example, let's compare June 2020 with June 2021. In June 2020, we were just coming out of COVID lockdown and not a lot was going on in real estate. It was a really slow time. Not many transactions were happening. So when you look at the percentage increases from June 2020 to June 2021, we saw a 95% increase in median sales prices. This was a huge increase in median sales prices. But if you see here, June 2021 was the peak or maximum increase in median sales price year over year. And since June of 2021, we're seeing percentage gains going down. This means home prices are continuing to rise, just not as much, month after month. Right, prices continue to increase, albeit at a slower pace, until about January 2022, where right now we're seeing prices leveling off as of March 2022. Let's take a quick look at townhomes and condo gains. As you can see, they've had solid gains over the last two years, but it wasn't as dramatic as the single family home market. The townhome condo market continues to show gains of around 20% today, but these gains are also trending down. Thus, this stabilizing of the real estate market in Steamboat Springs is a healthy for the overall strength of this market. Yeah, stability is essentially the opposite of volatility. So while homeowners love to see their values rising, this isn't always great if you're actually trying to buy something. That's right. If you're a buyer in this market, at least over the last two years, it's been really difficult. And unfortunately, over the last three months, with interest rates rising, that's basically decreased the purchasing strength of a buyer. Yeah, here's how buying power has been affected this year to date. As of April 2022, the average interest rate is right around 5%. Three months ago, the rates were around 3.15%. What does this mean to your purchasing power? Well, if you were putting 20% down on a $1 million purchase, your payments would be about $4,161 back in January. Today, those payments would be $5,018. That's a 20% increase in monthly payments. It's unfortunate that rates are rising after a two-year hiatus. But it's not all doom and gloom. Sure, buying power has decreased roughly 20%, but at least it's not October 1981. That same million dollar home would have cost you $12,780 a month. Make no mistake, I'd rather have rates low and enable as many people to buy homes as possible. However, due to the lack of inventory, there are only so many homes to go around. Until inventory increases, the one sure way to slow down the market is to have interest rates continue to rise. However, if you're thinking about selling, now might be a great time because of all these gains over the last two years. We also know in Steamboat Springs, those gains are slowing significantly down. Yeah, the rate hikes may result in a smaller number of buyers who qualify to buy a house, but the buyers who do remain may start to see a little more selection moving forward. Um, they may also have a little more room to negotiate contingencies. As we know in the last two years, it's definitely been a seller's market. I'm not saying it's changing to a buyer's market anytime soon, but I think a little more rights for buyers may come back in the next months. So if you're considering buying or selling a property in this market, keep the bigger picture in mind and try not think about the, the rates in the past and try to focus on the opportunity that lies ahead of you and the path that you're gonna create. So to recap, we're seeing median sales price increasing 
leveling off. That with rising interest rates, I think we're in a little transition in the real estate market here in Steamboat Springs. So if you like this information, please give us a thumbs up. Please feel free to share it with your friends that may find it valuable. I'm Charlie Dresden. And I'm Travis Crook. Both with Colorado Group Realty. Feel free to leave a comment or contact us directly if you have any questions about the Steamboat Springs real estate market. Our contact information is below and our past video vlogs on the sides. Thanks again for watching.